Now yeah. they are going have to smoke, and I'm not smoking with them. There's a problem. No, I know exactly, right? Maybe like, yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Maybe we would all want to smoke. Yeah, yeah we'll who knows? Wait, wait, wait. Let me on, 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 on. Let me on the on, on, on. <laughs> all right, now I'll be back in a sec. You guys, oh, yeah. this is a conversation I want to have. This all is right. a conversation. You, you tell me what's going on. Oh my God, this is a conversation. I like that this idea, but I don't agree. No, me neither. It's just like I was thinking about no, it. No, but in terms of schizophrenia, it is actually possible. Yeah. So in theory, you could actually be in a hospital right now, thinking that you're living a life, but in reality, you're just sitting in your yeah, hospital. I guess so. And everyone you know and everyone you see are just it's in the just same uh, hospital, you know? Yeah. I mean, everyone you know in your dream or everyone you know for real. But because they don't, they don't have a reality in that yeah. state. So they basically think that they're living a life. Yeah, yeah. But I, actually, I they're understand. not living a life. So everyone they know, like they think they know, or they, they, they think they went to work, or they think they went oh, somewhere. Yeah, 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 and course. everyone they see when they go somewhere is actually just like people who work with them, like so the nurses in the hospital or something else, and they think it's a different reality. Ah, ah. So you're not saying that this person is actually lying, uh, lying on the bed and having this yeah, just in the hospital, lucid. You know? um, yeah, it's not like a dream. It's more. Uh, it's more like altered reality. Altered reality, yeah. And uh, they yeah, just yeah, so because it. like they hallucinate so much yeah, yeah, in that yeah. state that like all of their hallucinations make up a life for them when mm. in reality they're not not doing the that. You oh know? yeah, but but that's like that's an interesting thing because if uh, if their brain works in a way that works like constructs a different reality for them from the environment. Yeah then actually it's still they can move around in that reality in because still it's the same environment yeah but their brain is just constructing it differently yeah. for them so that means that their brain should be able to work out the parts where that person can basically stay alive do whatever he wants yeah, exactly. in a way or, or I don't know. Depends because. But I mean, there are very different stages of it. There are stages oh, yeah. in which they don't even eat unless you bring them food, you know, because they don't think about that they need it. So oh, they don't understand that they need it for survival. So yeah. like, they always need someone to bring it to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like do it for them, but but they believe that they're like doing something when they're not doing anything. Like ah, you say I don't know if, yeah, if we can imagine. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think because they don't even have conversations with people. But like in their in their head, head, their head. they're talking, they're doing something, they're meeting people, they're yeah. like living a life when they're actually just stuck in their room of the hospital. Yeah. But it's like very very extreme cases, so there's not a lot of them. But are there like cases like this for real? Yeah, because I don't know anything about. They it. are. How, but how do you know? How, how where, where, where are your sources coming? Because from? I studied psychology and I worked uh, in a mental hospital, so. <laughs> it comes from there, but it's very, very rare. So it's not, uh, it's not that easy to. Live. Let me ask you a question. As a, so it's psychology. If with this knowledge what you have now, if you could give an advice to your 18-year-old self, what would you say? If you want to answer. You don't have to. To my 18-year-old self? Yeah. It's like I already started studying psychology at the time. Mm. It doesn't have to be related to psychology. No, in general, that I already like started to think about it when uh, I was 18. But I think I would say that um, you should listen to people more. Mm. That will be the most... Uh, I will give this advice to anyone, I think. Not what only do to you mean about listen Because in a lot of to cases... Uh, more. When I say listen, I actually mean like listen and try to understand what they're saying, not just like listen to a sentence and ignore it and like give your own opinion on it. Because in a lot of cases, like we judge people too fast, we make our own opinions too fast, we base our opinions are basically nothing, just like how do people look, or maybe one word that they said, or whatever they did there. And in a lot of scenarios, like there's so much more behind this person, there's so much more for their story that we will never know. Yeah. Of and course. that uh, because of course no one's gonna come up and start saying oh this and this happened to me in my life and that's why I behave like this right or this is why I said this. But in every single scenario, 
it comes from something. Yeah. It comes from some place. And all of those people, they lived through something that made them say certain things or made them believe certain things or act in a certain way. And a lot of people just ignore that and they base their judgment on it because like, they don't believe it, you know? Well, the question is, so to listen and to try to understand, mm -hmm. you mean try to understand uh, where their uh, where is coming from or what they say where is coming from actually. yeah because I think a lot of a lo in a lot of cases you can get like obviously offended or maybe upset about some things that people say possibly in situations but most likely they don't mean it even in that way and they're coming from a very different place than what you understand because everything that people say is interpreted by you, yeah, by yourself and by your experiences and course, by your past. Yeah. So yeah. most of the time we react in a certain way in a certain situation because in the past someone said something similar and we were offended by it or maybe hurt by it. But maybe this person is not coming from the same place, you know, maybe it's not the same scenario, not the same I situation. understand what you're saying, but you know why I think this is basically impossible to do? Because there are so many people in, in our lives who we meet. And if we would have to take the time to um, understand where are they coming from, let me finish my... Uh, then we would never have basically time for anything else. Uh, maybe, I don't know. But, so the question is, how could we um, resolve this paradox? I think it's just being, <laughs> I know it will sound maybe silly, but it's just being more simple, like in general, mm -hmm. being more simple in life. Because in a lot of, you know, in a lot of ways, like everyone wants to be accepted for who they are, right? Yeah. And in a lot of conflicts, a lot of people say like, I'm like this, just accept me how I am, right? Mm -hmm. Just accept me that I am this person. But do they accept the other person who's talking to them? Yeah, th but this is a trap. This question is a trap. Do you know why? No. Because what you have said now, like one person says that, uh, one person says that accept me the way I am, <laughs> and then do they accept uh, the other person yeah, exactly. the way they are? But actually, this is like setting up, uh, so like accept me the way I am, it, it means even if I don't, I can't accept you the way you are. Or accept me the way I am and I accept you the way you are. The, the thing is that the first version, it's, it's the, if we are realistic, that's, the, that's yeah, how that's we are. That's the scenario that normally the plays out. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like people want us to be recognized, we want people to recognize us, to accept yeah. us, to blah, 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 everything, but then we are not so acceptant of accepting other people. To, yeah. Yeah. And that's the, I feel like that's the biggest issue of communication or in general in society, because like everyone wants to be accepted, yet they're not taking the time to accept everyone else around them or like understand them or like put them in the same position. So like everyone puts themselves first. Yeah, which is basically normal. Yeah, that's normal human. <laughs> um, yeah, nature. Yeah, normal human nature. I just had some thought a few days ago about this, but I I cannot recall exactly. I had an interesting, but I don't know what was it. I should have wrote it. <laughs> create a book or something about the, about the interesting things. So you studied psychology. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to have a special guest come on. Also like uh, so we'll postgraduate. Yeah. Well, we could or continue this, com this okay. very conversation. Actually